hey everybody and welcome back to my channel my name is kai and i'm back with another video so today is going to be a mini twist video or a chunky twist video whatever you want to call it um so today you need some rubber bands detangling tools your cutting cream of choice and today i use curls unleashed and some water so now let's get started what you want to do first is section your hair and you're going to part your hair to your liking um i did big sections because i wanted my twist to be on the chunkier side rather than mini so and it also uh took less time okay i was done within an hour so what you're going to do is you're going to detangle, you're going to apply your curling cream first, you're going to detangle, detangle your hair, and then you're going to add the rubber band and create a two-strand twist. Now, you're not applying the rubber band too tight. Um, and make sure you detangle so you get all the knots out and then you're going to begin to two strand twist now y'all already know how to two strand twist um this is nothing major this is very very simple and i'm also using one product so that's also good as well i did use gel for the ends for probably like two twists and then i realized it really wasn't necessary because the cream had enough hold by itself so yeah but if you want to use the gel to get more hold you can but this cream has enough hold So I did do a lot off camera or the majority of my head off camera. So I'm going to show y'all the front. What you're going to do is you're going to part your hair. You're going to make sure you section your hair, right? You're going to tuck a section of it away. And then you're going to make sure it's straight if you don't want it straight. It doesn't It doesn't really have to be straight. It, does, it won't really matter. Um... But yeah, I saw that my part was a little diagonal, so I had to go ahead and fix that real quick. You're going to apply your water, making sure your hair is damp, not fully drenching wet. Spit that section. I told y'all I'm a bad parter. Did y'all see that? I, I gave up on parting straight a long time ago. So you're going to make sure that this section is nice and detangled. You're going to apply your cream again. <laughs> Don't put it on your forehead like me. I'm dead. That was funny. Making sure your hair is fully detangled, right? If you need more water, add more water. If you need more cutting cream, get more cutting cream. And then you're going to apply your rubber band. Now, I wrapped it around maybe four times, four or five times, um, making sure that the rubber band is secure but not tight, if that makes sense. Now, don't worry about the, the white. The cream will disappear. My hair is low porosity, so it takes a time. A, a, Jesus, my hair is low porosity, so it takes time for my hair to absorb product, but the product will go away. You won't get any flaking or anything like that, I promise. So now you're working on, you're going on to the next section, splitting that, tucking it away, spraying it with water. Adding your curling cream, and then you're going to detangle you're going to apply your rubber band rubbing it around you 
detangle one more time making sure everything is nice and smooth and then you're just going to twist your hair and this is legit all you do um from start to finish you just this the cycle is repetitive um it's a very easy process you want to make sure you have chunky twists if you want them more on the chunky side though um if you want to do mini twists you can do mini twists um, and you don't have to use rubber bands. I just decided to use rubber bands because I wanted it, my roots to be neater. You know, I didn't want them to frizz up. Because when I go to sleep and put my bonnet on, if I don't, I've noticed if I don't use rubber bands, my hair will be all over the place. And yeah, it, it won't look nice and, you know. So that's why I use rubber bands, but you do not have to use rubber bands if you don't want to. So yeah, this is pretty much the video. This is how I do my mini twist or my chunky twist. Oh, don't forget when you do get to the end to wrap your finger around the ends of your hair let me see if i did it right here that's very important because you want to make sure that your end is curling and not all fuzzy and frizzy you know it really doesn't matter i mean but you know So y'all, same process. Apply your rubber band. Detangle and twist. And let's see if I twirled it. Yep, twirl it at the end to make sure it's nice and you know curled at the end and this is all <laughs> there's nothing to it um hmm. oh let me talk more about the product that I use. So the product that I used and I showed it in the beginning the the <laughs> I can't talk. The product that I used, I showed it in the beginning of the video. It is um curls unleashed. So if you want to go back and look at it to see what it looks like, um, so you can buy it, go ahead and do that. But I got it at Walmart for about five dollars. Um, but it's called Curls Unleashed Shea Butter and Honey Curl Defining Cream, Moisturizing Curl Definition, and Less Shrinkage. And I can say that I do not have shrinkage with this product. Um, it does elongate your curls, twists, braids, whatever you're going to use it for. Um, this does. Now, let's be real. Your natural you're gonna get shrinkage okay like that's just something that comes with being natural um you also have to learn to embrace your shrinkage but uh if you do want a little bit of elongation you can use this product because it is a it has a nice hold as well that's why i use this for a one product mini twist because it, it it does have that good hold and yeah it also smells good you get a lot of product for five dollars um at walmart go try it it's amazing very moisturizing keeps your hair nice and shiny when i do refresh my twist i think i am going to use this same product also because i don't want to mix products like that um ain't no cause flakes and all that uh but yeah this product is very 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 good and i do recommend it it's an a in my book
all right i think i did enough talking for this video and enough explaining thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe this has been a tutorial on how to get your chunky twist you know what i'm saying like um so you can look like what's that boy's name from menace to society the one with the twist i think his name is like oh god i think his name is like old dog or something like wait I, i'm gonna look him up i don't remember his name but the friend with the twist this is how you get that look because you know every time i do this style somebody always say oh you look like that dude from menace to society and it's like uh, uh, thank you you know what i'm saying so yeah all right i'm out y'all bye what's up everybody so this is my finished result i did add some cute beads in there i like beads better than hair jewelry um yeah they're these are my chunky chunky twists i like my twists chunkier on the more chunky side than the small side but for the most part these are mini twists um they're still in the same category um it didn't take me that long at all took me about what an hour hour and some change um yeah and i hope you guys like it thank you so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe all of that and i'll see y'all in my next video bye